to welcome our viewers and listeners to yet another refreshing time in the presence of the Lord. As we come together to discuss the Word of God in the Bible study series sponsored by the Diocese of Ife Agrican Communion. With me in the studio this day, we have to my left, our mommy will be introducing herself. Mrs. Adosh and Hope. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. And our uh, brother and father in the Lord. Hi, sir. I'm Adiola. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, we want to remind us that your contribution to this program will either be through SMS or WhatsApp on 0814-719-4912. Please note, let us pray. Faithful Father, we want to thank you for a time like this, a time to come nearer, to be taught, to be shown the way of truth, the way of light. We pray that as we discuss together, the Holy Spirit will guide us through, mm -hmm. and you internalize your word in our hearts and give us the grace so to put to doing. Thank you, precious Father, thank you. for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are looking at that sub team on godly practices in the marketplace that we've been looking for some time now. But specifically today, the topic is the unbiblical pattern of doing business, the Jacob versus Laban episode. The unbiblical pattern of doing business, the Jacob versus Laban episode. And for our reading, we look at Genesis chapter 29, and we we'll take the reading from verse 28. Mommy, you will read for us from verse 15, Genesis 29, from verse 15 through 28. Laban said to him, you shouldn't work for me without pay, just because we are relatives. Tell me how much your wages should be. Now Laban had two daughters. The older daughter was named Leah, and the younger one was Rachel. There was no sparkle in Leah's eye, but Rachel had a beautiful fi figure and a lovely face. Since Jacob was in love with Rachel, he told the father, I work for you for seven years if you will give me Rachel your younger daughter as my wife. Her greed, Laban replied, had rather give her to you than to anyone else. Stay and work with me. So Jacob worked seven years to pay for Rachel, but his love for her was so strong that it seems to him but a few days. Finally, the time came for him to marry her. I have fulfilled my agreement, Jacob said to Laban, Now give me my wife so I can marry her. So Laban invited everyone in the neighborhood and prepared a wedding feast. But that night, when it was dark, Laban took Leah to Jacob and he slept with her. Laban had given Leah a servant, Sipa, to be a maid. But when Jacob woke up in the morning, it was Leah. What have you done to me? Jacob ranged at Laban. I worked seven years for Rachel. Why have you tricked me? It's not our custom here to marry of a younger daughter of a younger daughter ahead of the first son, firstborn. Laban replied, but wait until the bridal week it's over. Then I will give you Rachel to provide you promise to work another seven years for me. So Jacob agreed to work seven more years. A week after Jacob had married Leah, Laban gave him Rachel to Laban gave Rachel servants B.R. to a maid. Thank you very much. And then uh, let's quickly look at uh, 31, 4 to 7. Okay. 
Genesis chapter 31, verses 4 to 7, it reads, Jacob had Rachel and Leah called to the field where his flocks were. He said to them, I can see from your father's face that his attitude toward me is not the same, but the God of my father has been with me. You know that I have worked hard for your father, and that he has cheated me and changed my wages ten times, but God has not let him harm me. Thank you very much. The hymn of these studies is just as a Christian that we should avoid rancor and bitterness whenever we are doing business. Number two, to know that faithfulness is what is needful in God's business. And number three, to know that godliness with contentment is a great gain. The introduction briefly says, some patterns of doing business are not acceptable before God. That is, they are unbiblical. Example could be seen in the case of Jacob and Laban, as read in that Genesis chapter 29. Any relationship that begins with deceit always ends up with lack of trust and bitterness, most especially in a business relationship. The relationship between Jacob and Laban from onset was characterized by unfaithfulness, which led to ungodliness and lack of contentment. Just as we have read in that uh, Genesis and emphasis also on Genesis 30, which we discuss in the course of uh, this study for the exigency of time. This study serves as a clarion call to all Christians to do their business right and make eternity focus. Because the Bible says we will all stand before the judgment seat of God so that we will take the reward for that which you have done, whether it's good or bad. We pray that uh, we will reflect more on this. But we are taking this case study. We believe that God put this story in the scripture not because we want to pass blame on, but that we learn and we'll be able to get things right as we relate to others, irrespective of the relationship that we may be with that person. And I pray that the Lord will open the eyes of our understanding and make right what might have been wrong before in Jesus' name. Now let's go quickly to our discussion because of time. What is your own view on the relationship between Jacob and Laban? Does it stand on truthfulness? Yes. My brother. Well, uh, thank you very much, sir. Let me start by saying no. Uh, if we look at it from the two passages that we have read, we could see that the relationship, you know, actually uh, was built with deceit and unfaithfulness. Even though they started, uh, you know, as a family, you know, uh, Laban was the uncle of, uh, of uh, Jacob. He was accommodative, accommodating to Jacob. But along the line, you know, as business transactions set in, we saw from that or the two passages that they built the relationship in their business on deceit and on faithfulness. That's what I can say about it, sir. A sister, you subscribe. you subscribe to that uh, notion? <laughs> Perfectly well. Because when we are talking about the view on the relationship, the relationship initially, like my brother said, my, from the look of things, be of positive in, uh, from the inception. But as times goes on, when the business... There was, there yeah, was, There was open hand of yes, uh, reception. reception. So, but when the business comes in now, I want to believe that the uncle who happened to be Laban was so much focused on the business and what he wants to get from the business. So not minding the relationship any longer. Mm -hmm. So from that end, he, he began to, to, to take advantage of the man Jacob. So serve me for this year, serve me for another year, not minding that he, me for this year, I give Yes. Okay. So, send me, so if, you, if I give you this, if you want anything again, you still need to serve me. I should be gave something now. <laughs> yes, he gave something, but at the expense of that man's life. <laughs> so, the relationship to me is on deception. So, there is uh, untruthfulness yes. and unfaithfulness. Yes. 
from the from the beginning, from the onset, from the onset yes. in the bargaining yes. Uh, yes. process, process, yes. and in the execution process. Yes, because he knew right from the onset. Sorry, sir. In addition, when he wanted to give uh, Leah or oh, sorry Rachel, he should have told him right from the onset that when look, he yeah, when he requested to get uh, Rachel. He, uh, Laban would have told him that, look, you can't have Rachel until uh, Leah is married. Mm. So pray that you, we find another man to marry Leah first before you, your seven years elapse. Otherwise, you will have to first marry Leah and then you work for another seven years to get Rachel. He should have told so him I all this. So if he's so pleased, uh, he would have done uh, he would have, If he was interested, he, I, have, he, there wouldn't have been any problem. Because he, brought he brought, you know, he cover her covered her up. Uh, in fact, he called family, in fact, for the celebration. Oh, that, was that, reception. okay, that there will be a reception. I want so, to so, give, so, present so, Rachel. So, and Jacob was happy. Was happy. That, yes. Only to find out that uh, the, man, the woman that they gave to him was Leah. That was a decision. So we can say that on the premise that he didn't want to lose the service. Yes, he was interested so much, just like mommy said. Yeah, he was so much interested in that service. Let, let him continue to work for me. Knowing fully, full well that even for the next seven years, he's still going to work again. So he was so much, you know, engrossed with what he wanted to gain from living again. That makes it very unbiblical mm. and uh, make it... Uh, of faithfulness. Now let's press forward. You say, what can you say about the man labor? We have looked at the, the beginning of it, but yes. what can we actually say about that man, especially in his relationship now okay. with uh, yes. Jacob uh, uh, well, for 14 years? Yes. It took, let me say that the man labor started well with Jacob. As I said earlier on, he was accommodating, he accommodated the Jacob very, very well. You know, he was, you know, friendly. He accommodated him. But when the issue of the business started, the issue changed. And so in his relationship with Jacob in his service, he took an undue advantage of Jacob. He took an undue advantage. In fact, if, if we look at it, for the first seven years, he worked for Leah. And uh, Laban saw that, oh, this man was good in service. Let me just continue, you know, extorting him, extorting his service, in, extorting him in the service, extorting him even with all he had. Even when he, you know, had children, had wives, the wives, the children, they were still serving uh, Laban. And I think that was the reason he said, you know, all these things that we have gathered together, we put them together. I have been doing all these things for you. You know, he was forced to voice out and say, now you, you did not have as much as this when I came, but now the Lord has increased you. Say, now when will I provide for my own family? So Laban took an undue advantage of uh, Jacob in his service. And um, then, uh, and uh, where we read, I think in that Genesis 31. Yes, sir. That was mentioned by Jacob. He said, he said your father cheated me. Yes. 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 Ten yes. times. Ten times. Even though we read Yes, in his wages. We, you read that, that means he served him without even any cover. So where he was, if at all he was to be paid, he paid little or nothing to him. So he, he said he cheated him ten times. Ten times. Uh, so the bargaining was... Uh, well, of course, the, the bridge of agreement was, you know, the contract was or always the, changing. was changing. You know. Uh, <laughs> my, my sister... Uh, from that perspective of uh, bargaining, can we relate it to what happens, the labor principle or the labor nature, if we put it that way? Is there any reflection of it in our society of today? <laughs> Many, sir. Mm -hmm. Plenty. Yes, very, very plenty. I think it's the nature and it's as eating deep into uh, the, the society and the system. So today, uh, in the feed of, let's say, for instance, those who have complained today, I would like to speak on those uh, that have their home skills. You see that they get people to work for them. They use them to accumulate their wealth, And they find it hard allowing those people to assess the wealth. Mm. That's what happened. Uh, but they are the one. <laughs> yes, they, 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 were, they were the one, they used so them to. The spirit of labor. Yes, mm. they used them to get the wet. Not ready but to they, will, yeah, they will not, they will pay little or nothing. nothing. 
-hmm. In fact, they will even pay a stipend that they know that as a family man cannot cater for a family man. That even a, their children at home. And they can put all the structures yes. and build the empire for themselves. Yeah. As so they, they, that spirit is, is the in the system. Thing. It's the same thing. Uh, the, of, in government cycle, can we see the labor? In, actually, it's, in, it's uh, there in the government cycle too. For instance, at the current situation of the country, I see I can see that there's uh, government's uh, own uh, institution or something like that that they are just paying like thirty thousand naira. In the current state, that we are going to buy a, a, a Congo of beans for one thousand to one thousand five, and someone is being paid for thirty thousand per month. What, what of in bag in in, in uh, this issue of bargaining something? We, we have an agreement okay. on okay. table. We have an MOU, <laughs> and we are executing the MOU. And then all of a sudden, we are saying uh, that is not. And then they strike, I strike, I strike, I strike, you strike. You strike, that, that you strike me back, I strike you back. <laughs> the, the, that, that is the spirit of labor that we are talking about. <laughs> and it is everywhere. So it's, it's only that by, uh, with the, the, the purpose of this study is for each and every one of us to check ourselves. Do we have that spirit? Do we have that habit in us? And if we do, we need to check ourselves and mm -hmm. repent of it because it will worsen. If to keep on worsening the situation, the situation just like uh, we see, you see. So uh, we got the boss. Mm -hmm. uh, time is fast, friend. Uh, then let's press for what say. Then we have look at labor, mm -hmm. but do we also have people like Jacob in our business relationship? We do have them. You see, Jacob wanted to play innocence. But he was not innocent. Hmm. He too has, you know, actually before he got to Laban's place, he cheated his brother. Okay. Okay. You know, okay. that one from the background, you know, his origin, you know, that thing is in his blood. You know, he cheated his brother. And, you know, twice. in the process, twice. Not even once. Not even once, sir. So that thing developed in him when he got to Laban's place. Hmm. So he was actually keeping that, you know. Okay, let me see this man. Let me see his reaction. If he does otherwise, I'm going to show my color. Which he did. He actually did. <laughs> and if you look at the passages that were read, you know, as Laban played him, he also played, he played back. Hmm. You know, he played the trick. Both of them played it on them, uh, each other. So we have people like Jacob and Randall, you know, people that are serving too. Like yes, Jacob. yes. We have... As the boss is trying to shit on, you know, the boy that is in, you know, that is his, uh, uh, what, that is serving him. You see, the, the servant or the person that is under the person so is also so. looking for a way to, you know, do his uh, ogre, to strive back. All this kind of stuff we have in our society, even in the business place. Nobody can actually, you know, be his chest. Also, I'm putting a boy in a play, in a shop and he said, okay, I'm sure that 100% nothing will be missing. He has his own way. Of actually doping his ogre, and his ogre will think that he's also he will be playing smartness. Hmm. So we have that so the, the in the society. He's also, also there, as we have the spirit of Laban from ogre, or to we have, the, we have the spirit of Jacob from cheat those me, I, I cheat, cheat you. God do the best. That's what we have there. Hmm. Uh, but as Christian, must that be no my sir. sister? No sir. Like uh, there is this thing that Christianity is a way of life. Mm. And not until we get to that point and see it as indeed the way of life, we keep on missing the road. Mm. As a Christian, we shouldn't have the mind that if anyone wrongs us, we need to wrong back. Mm. There is this popular saying that two wrongs can never make a right. right. It's a principle that once you have it, you know that you have your peace, as in inner peace will be there. The fact that somebody cheated you doesn't mean you need to cheat the person back. If you cheat the person, the person, they definitely, according to where we read, we are going, going to stand before God, give account of whatsoever mm. we do. So the individual that cheated you will give account. So we cannot and exonerate if, ourselves. Yeah. So if you now cheat the person back, you too, you're going to give account. So you are, you are trying to sow evil in a particular way. And so as the person that cheated you in the previous, uh, I mean, uh, initially, is reaping his uh, own... Uh, yeah, so... You, yeah, you are, you, you're going to reap... Because you are particular of, of evil. You are particular of evil. So as Christians, we should not 
have the mind that pay evil for evil. Yes, pay evil for evil. We are not even encouraged. Roman tells us that we should uh, we should do good and make sure that whatever good we are doing, we are doing it to the extent that we don't allow evil to prevail oh, in any way. So Christians should not have that spirit of Jacob, neither pick up the spirit of labor. Uh, there is tendency in each and every one of us. It only takes the mind and the spirit of God in us to purge us of that spirit. That spirit yeah. That is latent. Yes, it's latent in us. Mm. But we need the spirit of God to really purge us. There was a time I had a, uh, someone that would normally come to my house to do the cleaning. So we had, you know, we bargained. I'm paying you this. She agreed. So she used to come and when she finished, I'll give her the money. But my husband was around one day and I gave the money. My mother was like, ah, this money is too much. Once you know you can give more than this. And I, I reminded him that we bargain. No, there is a bargaining. There is an agreement. And I, I'm not bridging any agreement. But he told me that the way you, you did, that he wasn't comfortable with it. That I have the tendencies to cheat on her. That I told him I was cheating on her. So I also yeah. look into, yes, because I can do better. They can do more than what I did. So you felt that you had. Yes, you I, was sit, yeah, I, I was. Yeah, I was other pain. Do, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we, we as, as Christians, we need to look into ourselves mm -hmm. and allow the Spirit of God to help us. Even when we do, we think we, we do are, the right Yes. Bargain, and we know within the we didn't have, say, you have you are not, that Yeah, you are not doing yeah. this I right. Think that's the very Thank point you. for everyone to note. Mm -hmm. We may have a right bargain in right here. We may be standing right, but the conscience, the spirit of God in us may actually be telling us that, no, you, you have cheated. And when that comes, or when we are corrected by another man of God or by another person carrying the spirit of God, I think, like, it's agreed here that we do a self-examination. And finally, let's quickly look at the last one. We say, if God has not intervened, what do you think will have been the consequences of unfaithfulness, business relationship? between Jacob and Leba? Ah, well, <laughs> uh, it will have led, actually, it, it, will, it will have led to destruction because Laban was ready to kill. He was ready because he, he was after Jacob and he wanted to harm him, whatever. And, and as a matter of fact, he has forgotten that, is number it, one, that he, he was his, yes, he was his uncle, uh, his nephew, and that his nephew is, ma is now married to his two daughters. Yes. And his own grandchildren are part of those people that he was raging against. So if Adin being God did not intervene, he will have destroyed so many things. Laban will have killed some people. He will have even killed his own blood. Hmm. And that's what we must... Uh, when uh, the, This Adin says, those who are in glass house yes. must not and throw they stones. Hmm. They shouldn't... Try, try to because you don't know even that uh, uh, you know that uh, business uh, transaction that you actually bargain you, you know you 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 en en engage yourself in and you cheated and you did all sorts you do you do not know who is going to bear the consequence at the end of the day so we must or if not for God's intervention Laban will have destroyed so many things like oh, my brother like my brother said. Destruction will have been the term to use, perfectly used. You will have yes, lost out. Lost mm. out. The generation will have been wiped off. Wiped off. Mm. May God help us. Amen. May God's always may God's spirit always come to intervene. Amen. Even in, in critical moments. Mm. Just like we have said. Beloved, we may think this thing is not real. It could be read within family, mm. family business, family inheritance. Mm. We can see it all happening. We mm. are brother cheat on brother, mm. cheat on sisters, mm. and the whole thing scattered. And we can see a lot lead to leading to war, leading to even loss of life, bitterness that so mm. seed of bitterness so mm. here and there. Mm. Because these are unbiblical pattern of doing business or relating. Let's let's put it that way. And we we learn a lot from Neban. We learn a lot from the attitude of Jacob. I, I believe those things were canonized for us so that we can learn and then our life can be better than theirs. We are learning from their own example so that our life and our society could be better 
if we can conform only to allowing God to lead us through whenever we are relating in whatever parameter, either at family level or social level or external. Often we with government, even when we are working with government. May the Lord himself. Many things have been destroyed in our system, in our, mm. in our social infrastructural system, as a nation, simply because of this type of uh, issue, when we think that whatever government own is nobody owning it, so we can afford to do whatever we like with such. May God forgive us Amen. and help us out. Amen. Say, as Christian, our relationship should not start or begin on the pattern of deceit and cheating that may lead to rancor and bitterness, as we have seen in the case of Jacob and Laban. We should believe that we brought nothing to this world, and of course, we can carry nothing out. I'm sure God has blessed us, and we are reflecting on that which we have studied, and we are determining in our mind to right the wrongs and never go for the wrongs. And as we are determining that, I believe that the Spirit of God will lead us through in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, don't forget, you can reach us, 081 I want to thank our Father and the Lord, the Reverend Tidu Adela. God bless you, sir. Amen. And our mommy, mommy Hope. God bless you. Amen, sir. I also want to appreciate our engineer in the studio, Brother Donayo. God bless you as well. Amen. Let us pray. So, faithful Father, we want to thank you for your word that you have spoken to us today. We pray for every one of us that have listened to this word. That you give us the heart to do according to your will. Help us, O oh God, to do biblical patterns of business Amen. and to desist from any pattern that is ungodly. Amen. So that at the end, when we are giving account, we'll be found faithful in your sight. Amen. Thank you, Immortal Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.